Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Frost and I love to play games and you might have watched some of my earlier videos featuring The Sims 4, but that's not the only game I enjoy playing. I also like to play a few uh, RPG games, I think that's what they call them. Uh, they being the young kids, I'm not an old young kid, I'm an old guy, old woman. Uh, at nearly 35 I'm pretty old to be just starting my gaming YouTube channel but anyway I enjoy playing the game and uh, so today we're going to play a new game we're going to play the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion I've played it before but not since uh, last year I played all the way through the main quest but I haven't touched it since then uh, because I moved on to Skyrim and I think I don't think I even remember exactly what the main quest was and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to remember the main controls so that'll be probably pretty funny to start with as I try to kill people or kill monsters and hit the wrong button and probably jump up and down a whole lot while I'm trying to shoot arrows at them anyway let's move on I'm going to turn the volume back up a little bit Okay, so I'm going to start a new game. Yes. So long as you and your descendants shall wear the amulet of kings, then shall this dragon fire burn, an eternal flame as a sign to all men, and I didn't catch the end of it. <laughs> I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. I haven't played this since I got the new computer. This is the 27th of last seed. And the graphics the year are fantastic. Akatosh, 433. These are the closing days of the third era. And the final hours of my life. Okay, enter character name. Now, I have no idea what, I'm not really familiar with the different races and all of that. I don't know what type of names they should have and that kind of thing. I've watched, um, I think his name is Grol Varna play uh, Oblivion and he knew all about all the different races and the type of names that they should have and that kind of thing and I was just like, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I called my character in the my first playthrough, I think I called it by my own name. Um, so what race, well, I played as a, I'm definitely going to be a female. I don't think I'll be an imperial. Uh, natives of the, of the civilized cosmopolitan province of Cyrodiil, they have proved to be shrewd diplomats and traders. They are skilled with heavy armor and in the social skills and tend to favor the warrior classes. So it does not sound like me. Khajiit, hailing from the province of elsewhere, they are intelligent, quick and agile. They make excellent thieves due to their natural agility and unmatched acrobatic skills. All Khajiit can see in the dark. That may be. I like acrobatic skills and agility. Nord, citizens of Skyrim, they are a tall and fair-haired people. Strong and hardy Nords are famous for their resistance to cold. They are highly talented warriors. I'm not really a warrior. I'm a sneak and attack from behind a tree type of 
player. Orc, the people of the Rothgarian and Dragontail Mountains. Orcish armour is a prize for their craftsmanship. Orc troops and heavy armour are among the finest in the Empire and are fearsome when using their Berserker Rage. I just, I can never see an Orc as a good person. I, I, I'm too uh, brainwashed by Tolkien. Orcs are evil and need to die. So I don't think I could, I don't feel, I wouldn't feel right playing an Orc as a good, good character, which is what my characters tend to be. I'm not very good at being evil. Redguard, the most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel. In addition to their cultural affinities for many weapon and armor styles, they also have a hardy constitution and a natural resistance to disease and poison. Talented warriors, again, that's just not me. Wood Elf, the clan of the western Valen wood forests, also known as Bosma. Wood Elves are nimble and quick, making them good scouts and thieves, and there are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. Their ability to command simple creatures is well known. I play a wood elf in uh, Skyrim, so that's a definite possibility. I like I like being a wood elf. Argonian, oh gosh, that's a face. Uh, this reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their homeland, has developed natural immunities to diseases and poisons. They can breathe water and are good at picking locks. Well, I like picking locks, but I can learn as a wood elf. I can learn to pick locks. I don't have to be good at it to start with. Breton. In addition to their quick and perceptive gra grasp of spellcraft, even the humblest of Bretons can boast a resistance to magical energies. They are partic particularly skilled at summoning and healing magic. When I played, I never used much magic, so I don't know. I might Breton, and I don't know if it's got if they have the skills that I want. Dark Elf, also known as Dunmer. In their homeland of Morrowind, the Dark Elves are noted for their skilled and balanced integration of the sword, the bow, and destruction magic. They are resistant to fire and can summon an ancestral ghost for aid. Dark. How can you be a good, good elf? Hang on a second, everybody. I have to go and turn the potatoes down. Sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, so dark elf, I'm not sure about dark elf, seeing as they're dark. Uh, high elf, also known as Altner, in their homeland of Somerset Isle, the high elves are the most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. However, they are also vul also somewhat vul vulnerable to fire, frost, and shock. I didn't use magic a whole lot when I played this last time. Usually I just automatically go for the bow. I forget that I've even got magic. And back to Imperial. Um, so is it, is it going to be either Khajiit or uh, Wood Elf? <laughs> Good scouts and thieves. No fun at archery. I like archery. I'm a fan of I'm a fan of shooting people from a long way away before they get a chance to even see them coming. So I'm going to be a Wood Elf. Uh, shape of face. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Goodness, it's so complicated. I don't really know what half of that means. What's a cellian? I don't know what that means. What does this do? Okay, makes my face longer or shorter. Sorry again. Living with your parents. Uh, okay. Face, forehead, nose ratio. What does that change? Makes your, nose, your forehead shorter or longer. Not too long a forehead. Heavy light. Oh, that's too light. Okay. Sort of leaning towards light, round or gaunt. Leaning a bit more towards round, otherwise we're going to look like we've got some kind of wasting disease, thin or wide. We're not want to be round about there. I have no idea if I've changed anything much. Brow. Highbrow ridge or lowbrow ridge. Mm. Yeah, that'll do. Brow ridge inner, up or down. I like it about there. Brow ridge up, outer, up or down. Okay. I don't want too arched an eyebrow. Constantly got a surprise look on your on your face. Cheeks. High or low cheekbones. Make them high. It makes it look like she's smiling more. 
cheekbones shallow pronounced not too pronounced that's good thin wide cheekbones makes her ease move that'll do concave convex cheeks we don't want concave ones yep yeah. round or gaunt cheeks that'll do chin oh, goodness there's so many things to look at oh yeah we can turn her around yeah, she's looking pretty good chin forward backward I can't even see that I have to turn on the side to see that oh we don't want it down there chin pronounced or recessed retracted or jutting chin I don't want it retracted or jutting either shallow or deep chin no we don't want it shallow or deep sorry it'll do small large chin again we don't want it particularly large tall or short chin oh now we need to turn it around to see I don't think I changed anything with this that's good oh my goodness uh, thin or wide chin I can't see anything that's changing there that'll do eyes eyes up or down I like them where they were small or large no large is weird mm, about halfway eyes tilt inward or outward mm, neither right in the middle would be good together apart nope also nope right about there or head small or large oh we don't want a large one don't want a small one either uh, that's about good tall or short no we don't want a short one that's good forward or back oh, we don't want to make it look like she's frowning at the same time we don't want it to be Looks like she's had some basher on the head and it's caved her head in. Forehead, jaw, it's as much as The Sims almost. In fact, the um, characters look a bit like The Sims. Characters from The Sims 2. Jaw retracted, we don't want it retracted. But we do want it retracted, rather, we don't want it jutting. Wide or thin jaw. Make it a little bit thinner. Jaw, neck, slope. Oh, no, we like it up there. Jaw line, concave, convex. Uh, just making a chin quite pointy. Make it a little bit more concave, uh, convex. Forehead jaw mouth drawn or pursed we don't want it pursed we don't want it drawn somewhere in the middle happy mouth well definitely want a happy mouth high no we don't want it up there it was good where it was and no, we want it a bit more inflated actually large or small it all retracted it'll do protruding or retracted can't see from this angle so that goes in and out okay that'll do mouth tilt up down Underbite, overbite, well we don't want either of those things, so we'll just put it in the middle. Mouth, chin, distance, short or long. That's good. And nose. Nose, bridge, shallow or deep. We don't want it too shallow. 
That's pretty good. Short or long. No, we don't want to. We need it on this side so we can see how close to a lip it is. That looks about good. Nose up or down. We don't want that either. Flat or pointed. Can't see from this angle. We don't want to look like a pug. Nose tilt. Give it a bit more of a tilt so it's not quite so squashed looking. Nose nostrils. Goodness me. That'll do. Goodness, nose. Tilt. Small, large, wide, thin. Make them a bit wider. Oh, my Goodness me, nose region. Concave, convex. Sure, that looks fine. I still don't know what the cellian is. Oh, that's the bridge of the nose, I suppose you'd call it. No, we don't want it to have two closely set eyes. No short, long. We don't want any longer than it is. Bring the mouth in again a bit. If I can work out how to do that. There we go. So I think yeah, that's it. That's better. Okay, we did all that. Oh my god. So much. So much. Um Pale. Hang on, I'm about to be interrupted again. There we go. Dark or light? No, we don't want to go to. Ooh, that's very white. I think where she was was good. Parents, people. Orange or blue tint? I don't think we want a blue tint. Purple or yellow? We don't want it to be too yellow because the sallow is not a a good thing. Oh, that's not right. Hmm. I have no idea if I'm making this worse or not. It's complicated. Should have just stick stuck with what? No, she doesn't need a beard. No, we don't want a prude die socket. We don't want. No. Eyelids, dark light. Oh, she's not going to wear. We don't need to make wear makeup. <sighs> Eyeliner. Goodness me. My shadow. <laughs> Didn't. Didn't remember that I had to deal with eyeshadow in this. Give a slightly darker eyebrows because they sort of uh, disappeared. That'll do. Thick or thin? No. They're about good where they were, I think. No, we're not going to move that. Eyebrow lower, light dark. I don't know what that means. Well, it's fine where it was. I'm not moving that. No. I might make the eye sockets less light because it looks like she's got face paint around her eyeballs. That's better. I should have taken down the eye should have. we don't need it quite so dark. There we go, that's better. Uh, lips. Give us some nice rosy lips. I'll leave that 
that one there. There we go. She looks pretty nice. Nose. What else do I need to do with the nose? What's this thing? Hmm. I think I'll leave that in the middle. It was fine where it was. Okay, is that everything? Toad. Random, well, I don't want a random. Still haven't given her a name yet. Oh. What colour? Eyes. Brown, blue, green. Green eyes. Age. She's young. Complexion. Should have done this before I started fiddling with the other bits. Yeah, that looks good. Stick to it. Oh, that's the hairstyle. No, back out a bit. No. Stick twist. Cropped. Caught. Wind swept. Oh, that's not attractive. Okay, I'm back again. Hopefully, I've edited all of that out because that was just ridiculous. Anyway, back to the hair. Wind braids? No. Doesn't work for me. Wind bound? It looks like it's going through her ears. Pulled knot? No, that's just not right. It's not very uh, good for outdoor stuff. Oiled? No. Rogue knot? No. Military? Nope. Natural? Eh. I think we'll be going back to that stick thing. Loose? Ponytail? Stick twist? I like the stick twist. Although that's possibly not particularly good for travelling in. Run too fast and it'll all fall down. Maybe we should go back to one of those tied up ones. Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Nope. Not that one, not that one. Wind braids. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Hair colour. Dark brown? No, not grey. Satin blonde? Maybe? Bright grey. Charcoal? Black? Bright blonde? Rose blonde? Rose blonde's quite nice. Light brown? Cool brown? Auburn? Copper? Golden blonde? Golden or rose blonde is my favourite so far. Bright copper? Mahogany? There's lots of hair colours. Blue black? Dark brown. And we're back to where we started. So I think... Rose blonde? Rose blonde. Uh, length. Turn around so I can see the length. We'll give her longer hair. There we go. Is that everything? I just have to give her a name. Whoop. Anyway, where's the naming part? There we go. What is her name? <sighs> well, the name I gave my wood elf in Skyrim was Mariah, because I thought it sounded slightly elfish. elvish. Um. Hmm. Lana? She could be Lana. Layla. Layla. Layla the Wood Elf. That's slightly elvish. Maybe. Okay. I think that's done. Hope everyone else agrees that this is a good choice. I'm not sure I can go back and do it again. Yes, I am sure. Relatively. Okay. Uh, tutorial. To 
move forward, push W, push S to move back, to move left, push A to move right, push D. The mouse turns you to run, push L, uh, left shift. Yes, okay. But I think that I'm going to leave it here for the moment and we'll do another episode with me escaping from these dungeon tunnel thingamies.